This is part two of MGTOW. Men going their own way and my interpretation of what I understood from the video that I watched. So, I was talking about the cultivating and technology and if he went and sold his house, it would be better for him to be able to do what he want versus like renting an apartment, renovating and trying to do stuff. And like if I had my own damn house, you know, that that's what I would do with my own shit because no one can say I can't because it's mine. Where when you're renting something from someone, you kind of got to follow the fucking rules, you know. Which is like the worst part of, of, of paying rent in general is that you have to follow rules. That you have to comply with um, other people's stuff, you know. And compliance is not a bad thing all the time. However, you know, it um it is a thing. You know. And and the thing with that is, you know, something that's yours, you know, it's yours. Where something that's not yours, you gotta do some fancy maneuvering, trying to keep tack of everything. You know, it's like really a double-edged sword when it doesn't belong to you. Yeah. Whew. Let's talk about um, us being slaves to technology. If you're watching this, clearly, just like me, you are a slave to technology. And not that I'm not appreciative of this technology, because technology is a double-edged sword, too. As I said before I was interrupted, I spoke to a lady either today or legally yesterday when I was getting my hair dyed about the um, Terminators coming and technology and how people like me who aren't really good with technology are more likely to survive without this shit because I can live with it without my cell phone. However, now that I have social media, I kind of need my cell phone. So that I can check in on my friends on Facebook. Happy birthday, by the way, to my bro B, whose birthday was on Valentine's Day. So that's a shout out to him. But the the whole thing is, the guy was explaining to us about how the world seems to not be able to do anything but rely on technology, which I'm doing right now because I have Facebook and a whole bunch of other sites that I named on the other video that you see. The thing with that though, you know, when it comes to um, what he was saying in the video that I saw, because he has a lot more and I did subscribe to him, so I'm going to do more research before I do what my friend wanted me to talk about, if I do that video at all, you know, because he, he wanted me to talk about um, how more pro-women America has become, so to speak. Those aren't his exact words. I kind of forgot what he told me, but, you know, I, I want to do more research so that I don't, like, totally frack this up. Now, for the video I watched, though, I mean, it was pretty good for, like, nine minutes of this guy telling us, you know, how we have become less reliant on our natural instincts and more reliant on technology and how it could be a problem. So, you know, um, I want to do a little bit more research on these guys because the stuff I saw was cool as hell. And it kind of fits me because the video that I watched, like I said, I mean, he pointed out some very salient points or some very important points on what's going on in the world. And I have to agree with him because I'm like, you know what? If more people had actually kind of thought about this, it would probably make more sense to them. But we're all slaves to technology, and there's a new Galaxy 10 coming out, or 11, and then um, whatever TV show I was watching the other day, they had the flat screen that unfold, which was like a Motorola or something, and then I guess the next iPhone, because they're going back to like the flip style phone, where it can be a flip and a flat screen, and I'm like, dude, I don't need all that shit. I just got used to flat screens like maybe six years ago and when you get used to one system then they start adding new apps and stuff like that and I'm like what the fuck does this do I still don't know what half the apps on my phone do I really don't I'm like I got a Galaxy 7 and I got it cheaper 
from Best Buy than I did from the people that I currently have my phone bill paid to, you know. And I'm like, well, damn, you know, I don't know what this app does. I don't know what this app does. I have one app on here because I have two Samsung TVs. One is for video games and one is for, for watching TV, which I'm watching right now. Uh, my side eye, um, Avengers is on. Freaking, I got an app on my phone that I can put whatever I'm recording on my phone onto my TV and watch it. I did it once, ain't been able to fucking do it again. So like I said, we're all relied on our technology. And I'm like, dude is right, yo. He's like fucking right. Now, this is my interpretation of what I took from what he was saying. Because he only stayed on that for like maybe 40 seconds. Out of seven minutes, he was on there for like 40 seconds. And then he was on more important stuff that was in and out of my ear so fast that I was trying to figure out what was going on. But they have very good, important stuff. And I want to invest myself into checking them out since I subscribe to them before I make any videos and throw stuff out there. So to my bro from Facebook, I will check it out before I make videos. You know, like I like to be fully informed so that I don't frack stuff up. To all of you here at Kung Fu Havoc number two, all 79 of you, I count as two people. So, 79. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. But only share the Kung Fu stuff. Get me to Tyler Perry. Get me to Ellen DeGeneres. Get me to somebody who's going to open up some doors so I can make movies for the rest of my life instead of sitting here doing video chats. Because I promise, once that door's open, it will never close. Because they're going to have to pay me to stop working. Thanks for watching. Come for having number two, B, C, and E.